It's just uh, it's a record that needed to be done. You know, it's, uh, the songs did have the vibe of being doomy, and I love doom metal. I've always been a big fan of Trouble, and you know, Cathedral mainly because I think that uh, Forest of uh, Equilibrium, their first album, is amazing, astonishing piece of doom. You gotta be doomy. That's good for you. You know, it's very much of an an album by a band. Everybody, everybody in the band is playing a lot more. There's even a bass solo on the album, which is kind of unheard of and sad, but still enjoyable. But um, you know, when you when you're writing music, you don't think what you do. You just go for it. You know, lyrically and vibe-wise, it's very confessional. It's It was a tough one to write, and easily you do music to be a cathartic way of cleansing yourself from your pain. On this particular one, the pain just sticks with me. So I'm a suffering kind of poet who can write any poems. When we were working for uh, the album Dark Light, I spent about half a year away from home. And, you know, I wanted to eat the great vegetarian stuff that my ma does. And, and the rest of the band, uh, keyboard player Burton had his first child in October. Uh, well, there's a mother involved as well. But, um, uh, just a lot of stuff, you know, we thought as a band that it's good for people to be able to concentrate on their family lives and concentrate on their own problems and, you know, hop on into the studio when needed rather than being, you know, for a long time being away from home. And uh, now I want to be away from home, happy to be in L.A. because, you know, it's cold in Finland. Uh, everybody in the band loves Haley. He's the guy who produced Love Metal and who produced our first album. And the idea was to have these two maniacs working together. And so they did. And everything's beautiful. We're really happy about the album. It's Haley and uh, Tim met for the first time when we were doing Solitary Man and, and Love Set No for a compilation. They work really well together. And, uh, you know, they both are professionals in what they do, and we are not. Hard question. I don't seem the album to be really doomy. There are very rough and heavy parts in it, and it's what we wanted. But, uh, you know, we, we used to be a love metal band. I was probably thinking about venereal diseases, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we have had the tendency to uh, have a lot of yin and yang. Venus being the goddess of love, doom, um, for me, means it is this kind of, you know, goddess of, uh, goddess of destruction and rebirth. That's how I feel it, and that's the reason for the title. I'm still having a really hard time writing lyrics, and, you know, it takes me a long time. But uh, mostly, it was based on music. You know, you write how you feel, and, and uh, that's what I do. It would be tremendously great to be in, in a position musically that you would be able to write a single, but uh, unfortunately I can't. I don't listen to radio, I don't watch TV, I read. That's what I do. You know, my music is Chuck Palahniuk. 
Tim was really bored of Helsinki. And, you know, you know, he wanted to be close to his family. And he has been mixing a lot of records here. And he just, you know, it's like the studio we use for recording in Helsinki, we know really well because we've been recording there a lot of times. So it was like home away from home for us. He just feels comfortable and good. It was actually nice to just change the scenery, go somewhere different. Yeah, a title for uh, Hill Street Blues by the fuck dude.